Once again, I invite our moderator, Martin Fair, to lead us in our prayers for others. In these prayers for others, I'm going to leave a series of gaps. And in the silence, I want to encourage you to be praying for people and situations known to you appropriate to each of the categories that I'll offer. Like throwing a stone into a pond, we will ripple out from the centre to the edges and so we will begin close at hand and finish up far afield. Are you ready? Let's pray together. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that through Jesus you hear our prayers in each and every situation and that you answer our prayers according to your good will and purpose. And so hear us first of all as we pray for those who are our nearest and dearest. Hear us as we pray for our congregation, for those who lead within it, for those who serve, for those folks who have struggled most through the pandemic restrictions. Bless our congregations, Lord, we pray. We pray, Lord, for our communities, for those who serve day by day, keeping things going, for those who have leadership responsibilities, for teachers, for care home staff, for hospital workers, for shop workers, and for the so many others who serve day by day by day. Hear us, Lord, as we pray for our country. Yes, for those who have leadership responsibilities, decision makers, advisors, guiding us through the pandemic. And we pray for our world, a world locked down, a world savaged by this virus with people in every country mourning the loss of loved ones, struggling to cope with isolation. Oh Lord, we pray for our world, the world you love, the world you sent your son to die for. And we pray that through all of this, hope would triumph over despair, that life would triumph over death, Yes, that light would prevail over darkness. Come, Lord, for our world. Grant us, Jesus, to be light of this world today and in all the days to come. Hear these and all our prayers, for we ask them in Jesus' name. Amen. After the benediction, we will listen to the hymn, Guide Me, O Thou Great Jehovah. 
Now, this is the point when I usually say worship is back online next week. And indeed it is. Worship is back online next week. However, I am now on holiday for two weeks. But there will, most definitely will be, online services on Sunday 7th and 14th of March. These will be led by church members who have done presbytery-led training in leading worship. Next week, Jeanette Russell and Janet Stevenson will lead the service. And the week after that, Margaret Baxter and Phil Jordan will lead the worship. I look forward to being back with you three weeks today. And now, a benediction. Lord Jesus, you taught your disciples that you must undergo great suffering and be killed before rising again. Grant us the strength and wisdom to be your followers and to take up our cross to follow you this day and every day forevermore. Amen.